public tertiary institutions in the country are facing the anger of NESFAS funded students. Some of them have not received part or all of their monthly allowances for food, tuition, accommodation and books, leaving them stranded and desperate. Students voice their challenges anonymously for fear of victimization. Isaac, um, last of last week I got my 1,640 and the net disappeared to 150. And the learners now issue the IRS as funds in advance come in a kind of fun. So as now Kukula and the Gumanjan Schoolman Schoolman Janama breakfast away called as many seats, slaying over slam hill. Currently, I am sharing food with my roommate. At least, Yana, she's getting money from home. I can't request money from home because I was raised by my grandmother and she was raising five other siblings she's on pension now so it's a bit difficult for me to ask money from home the institution had shifted everything to be online but we can't attend online classes or write online tests in a hungry stomach in june 2023 four fintech firms namely coinvest izaga the norako corporation and tenet technology were awarded nesfas direct payment contracts to the tune of 47 billion rand to pay nesfas allowances to students this resulted in 80,000 beneficiaries not receiving their allowances a subsequent investigation by the law firm Worksmans implicated the nesfa ceo andile nongogo in alleged corruption fraud and illegal tender dealing Activists now want the NESFAS board to be dissolved and for the minister Nzimande to step down. No, we are going to embark on a national shutdown because there's no minister of higher education in South Africa. The minister of higher education does not exist. That office is vacant. The minister of higher education who is Dr. Bladen Zimande is currently implicated of corruption. The maladministration at NESFAS and the collapse of NESFAS. As we speak, students in their absolute majority, and I'm speaking in terms of all institutions in this country, they have not received their allowances. Today, it's the 9th of April, we've been trying to get a hold of officials of NASFAS to give us an understanding as to why or what causes the delay in terms of the disbursement uh, of uh, student allowances. And I can tell you now, uh, we've not received any sign uh, of uh, accountability from those officials. According to Yusuf, the mother body of the 26 public universities in the country, shenanigans involving NESFAS and the direct payment firms put them between a rock and a hard place. That breeds a lot of anger. And that anger manifests in many undesirable ways. Some of which we have seen recently. Violent protests, uh, you know, a destruction of property, and in some cases, injuries to students and staff and police and god forbid loss of life so the circumstances are very very dire to contemplate yusuf says the higher education and training department and the minister refused suggestions by vice chancellors of universities to disburse allowances like it was done before this after one university disbursed 14 million rand instead of 1400 rand to one of the students now we said perhaps in under the circumstances, whilst the legal issues are being sorted out, let the universities do the disbursements because we have done it before. Now, concerns were raised from the side of the minister and the DHET and at NSFAS itself to say that when the universities were given the opportunity some years ago to do this, a lot of things happened. Universities were eventually allowed to pay allowances between February and March, leading to many beneficiaries receiving their allowances. In a statement, NESFA said it relied on registration data from universities to disburse allowances, and at the time the April disbursements were made, nine universities including TUT, VETS, DUT and UNIVEN, among others, had not submitted their lists. Offense Estimo, SABC News, Pretoria.